Man, Netflix stock just keeps on going. It's about 11.30 a.m. right now on the East Coast, and we're building off of the gains from post-earnings yesterday where the stock shot up 7-8% after the bell. At one point earlier today, we were up over 4 percent now we're up around 12 percent so we have to do an update here on the charts and more importantly break down the earnings release so hit the like button make sure to subscribe you might as well get up to 15 stocks for mumu as well each up to two thousand dollars just use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash mumu fund your account with at least 100 bucks you get five stocks and fund it with at least a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks again each of those up to two thousand dollars guys so use that link down below and with that being said let's dive into it so check it out all the indexes right now are green by the way the russell's up 0.4 nasdaq's up 1.1 percent dow's up 0.3 and we have the s p up 0.6 percent so we're nice looking good looking nice and green throughout the board today as again netflix is up almost 12 percent on the day and it's crazy to think it was at 490 at close yesterday and we hit almost 565 earlier in the day for a company like netflix guys to go up 70 dollars per share in a day that is insane guys this is not a small company we're talking about this is netflix for pete's sake so let's break down the charts very quickly i don't want to spend too much time on the charts because i do want to go into the actual earnings release but you guys can see here we're trading at a fresh high on the four hour chart breaking out above the moving averages we have the ascending triangle that we called out a couple of videos ago not to toot my own horn but that's also playing out and yeah we're pretty much now breaking out towards all-time highs and you guys can clearly see that here on the three-year chart you guys can see we're above the moving averages now we're taking out the highs again from the last couple of months and now we're at the highest level we've been at are you guys ready for this in about two years right in about two years look back in 2021 end of 2021 that's actually when we hit that 700 dollars all-time high then we sold off aggressively heading into the new year uh which the new year for for 2022 that is we got down to about 550 by uh, no joke literally looks like around the same time uh, you know, as now, but two years ago, we got down to 550. It was, you know, around uh, the middle end of January 2022. Then we got all the way down to 160 by May of 2022. And my goodness, guys, that was a ridiculous sell off on Netflix. Uh, looking back from $700 all the way down to 160 and six months alone, the stock went down. 80% obviously with the benefit of hindsight that would have been a ridiculous buy uh, but now it's at 550 so we're up massively off the lows but the reality is man we're uh, you know we're at a big resistance right now being about 565 550 that's where we failed and it looks like the beginning of 2021 so three years ago we failed there then we broke out to 700 so we're testing that point again right here let's see if we can break out of there and maybe start making a move towards 600 maybe 600 dollars plus which then could take us uh, of course to those all-time highs so i don't want to spend too much time here on the charts but realize guys we're breaking out. We're approaching the highs from three years ago, and uh, we are a little bit overbought, so keep that in mind. I'm personally not FOMOing into this, but I'm still watching it here either way as, uh, again, there's clearly a lot of momentum. So let me come over here to this earnings release from Netflix, which it's about 20 pages long, I think, or maybe even more. So we're not going to get through everything in this video. Uh, let's see. It's about 16 pages. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, it's a lot to go through. So again, we're not going to get through everything, but we are going to highlight here a couple of the key points. So make sure you guys stick on throughout this uh, this video. So Netflix just ended their first year with Ted and George, or not George, <laughs> Greg, pretty similar names, 
as co-CEOs and under their leadership, Netflix achieved the key financial objectives that they set at the start of 2023. They accelerated their growth, exiting the year with 12% revenue growth up from 6% in 2022, and they grew their full year 23 operating margin to 21% from 18% in 2022 ahead of their 20% target, and they also increased their free cash flow to 6 point nine billion dollars for 2023 and i think i mentioned this yesterday uh but their net income year over year is insane the fact that it grew from i think 50 million dollars last year in the same quarter to 950 million dollars unbelievable i'm pretty sure those were the numbers uh but yeah net income has grown they increased their cash flow they're growing on revenue pretty nicely again 12 percent year over year and if we come down a little bit more you guys can see that 12.5 percent actually don't forget that 0.5 percent you can see that 12.5 percent uh, revenue growth here, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see it even better, 12.5%. And they're forecasting for, it looks like Q1 2024, 13.2% revenue growth, which is better than what we just got. And that's probably a reason why, uh, well, there's many reasons, but one of the reasons why Netflix stock is moving is because of their guidance. And again, there's many reasons. Of course, they added 13 0.1 million subscribers. You guys can see here paid net additions total 13.1 million versus the 7.7 .7 million uh, from the same quarter last year. And that beat the estimate. I think the estimate was 8 million uh, paid net additions for the quarter. So that's good. Another reason why uh, the stock ended up ripping. Looks like here in Q4 2023, operating income amounted to $1.5 billion, up from the half a billion dollars, 500 million in other words, from the year ago period, while operating margin improved as well uh, to 17% versus the 7% in the year ago quarter. And this chart right here is pretty interesting, guys. This shows you the share of viewing December 2023 streaming only with remainder being linear plus other. So you guys can see uh, we have Poland TV at the bottom here or all the way to the left. Then we have Spain, Brazil, Mexico, US, and UK, which we have all the screens um, in UK. You guys can see Netflix's biggest competitor really is YouTube, which we have known for uh, you know quite some time. That's one of their biggest, obviously, competitors, which you can see here. Netflix is in red on the bar chart. Then we have YouTube and I guess you can say the light orange, whatever color that is uh, to you guys. So YouTube and Netflix are the biggest players along with um, Disney and Hulu throughout these different markets, Poland, Spain, Brazil, Mexico, U.S., and U.K. And if we come down here a little bit more, this shows you uh, content and engagement despite a lot of competition for people's time, which at the end of the day, that's what they're doing. Netflix, YouTube, all these other competitors, they're competing for people's time. Netflix continues to improve their service and drive many times more viewing than any other competitor other than, of course, YouTube. You guys can see here, according to Nielsen in the U.S. in 2023, Netflix had the number one original TV series 48 out of 52 weeks uh, versus 49 out of 52 weeks in 2022. So that goes to show the pure and sheer dominance that Netflix has. Let me say that one more time. According to Nielsen in the U.S. in 2023, Netflix had the number one original TV series 48 out of 52 weeks and the original film 41 out of 52 weeks a significant increase on 2022 when we took the top slot 25 of the 52 weeks and when it comes to acquired series they had the top or the number one 44 out of 52 weeks which is pretty impressive unbelievable if you ask me the the, the amount of um, dominance that Netflix has, maybe not so much over YouTube, but the other streaming services, Hulu, Disney, HBO, and the list goes on. And this is pretty interesting to look at here, the annualized performance of the stock. Let me actually zoom down or scroll down, excuse me, um, a little bit. It looks like here Netflix on the one year is up 65% three year it's actually down three percent believe it or not as we saw the charts we're still under those all-time highs five year up 13 percent annualized 10 year 
25%, and since IPO, 33%. That's compared to the 9% the S&P 500 has returned um, you know, since IPO. So Netflix has obviously outperformed the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, pretty much on all these, uh, well, actually not on every increment here. We have the one year Netflix is outperforming, but they're not outperforming the S&P and the NASDAQ on a three and five year basis, uh, but they are on a 10 year and since IPO. Um, so Netflix stock has obviously made for, you know, a beautiful investment. And it looks like here the cumulative return, oh my God, since IPO, 45,000% for Netflix, 570% uh, for the S&P since that time, 1,000% on the NASDAQ. And uh, you can see all the other performance um, you know, time periods here, three-year, five-year, 10-year. Netflix has done fairly well, 826% over the past 10 years. So let me see uh, what else we got here, guys. So this is pretty interesting right here. We have the regional breakdown. So we have revenue uh, you know, pretty much for uh, from Q4 22 to Q4 23. And here you got paid memberships, revenue, paid net additions, right? Average revenue per membership, which is very interesting to look at. Uh, this is, I believe, the United States and Canada. So that's $16, roughly $16.64 as of Q4 23 for the average revenue per membership, which you guys know they got rid of that basic plan, $11.99. Uh, which makes sense. I mean, look, uh, most people are going to want to pay for um, a, a little more, you know, a little more per month to get no ads. And you can see here the average revenue per membership is more than eleven ninety nine. It's sixteen dollars, seventeen dollars. So people are willing to pay a little bit more. And let's be honest, they're going to be paying even more because the uh, you know the membership costs are going to go up over time. But you can see here in the EMEA re uh, region, the average revenue per membership about ten dollars. We have the LATAM region right around uh, you know Latin America right around eight dollars and sixty per you know per membership and we have let's see APAC here average revenue per user or per membership seven dollars and 31 cents so uh, let's see anything else here worth talking about guys looks like we have a bunch of financials here from the uh, you know consolidated statement of operations the balance sheets and so forth uh, the balance sheet you guys can see here cash flows as well uh, which we're not going to get too deep into in this video but that was pretty much it I guess uh, you know for the uh, for, for the breakdown here guys when it comes to their earnings release like I said earlier in the video there's a lot to go over we can't go everything go over everything in this video but we did break down some of the key points here so what do you guys think hit that like button make sure to subscribe and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks from Moomoo Moo. I'm telling you guys this is the best promo by far right now fund your account at least 100 bucks using that link down below you get five stocks and fund it with at least a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks each up to two thousand dollars guys so get on it use that Moomoo Moo link down below and with that being said I'll catch you guys later.